Hey everybody, this is Greg Lewis, Orange Frog Photography, and uh, that's me. That's me, and that's my daughter. She's so cute. Everyone will tell you that the iPhone is a great video phone, and it is. It is. It oh, okay, stop. Stop. Let's address the elephant in the room. That table is disgusting. I thought I would do it in my garage on my workbench because I wanted to kind of, it was kind of a clever thing. I was in a garage and I was going to uh, talk about the uh, audio in a garage, but I didn't, I forgot to mention it and it just didn't really come out that way. So it's just kind of nasty. So just don't, I mean, what is that? I'm sure it's just WD-40, but it looks just, it's gross. Ooh. So just look past that. The information is still good. And uh, let's move forward. Actually, any modern phone is a great video phone. Just it doesn't matter. They're all good video phones. So yeah, I could have also cleaned off the phone. Um, but the one thing that it doesn't do very well and no phone does very well is audio. And anyone will tell you that the most important thing about video is audio. Uh, people can tolerate bad video. They cannot tolerate bad audio. You have different choices when you want to do a vlog and when you want to bring audio into a device that otherwise has crappy audio. One of them is this little guy. This is what I'm recording on right now. This is literally recording my audio right now via this cable and a LAN. And LAN is a microphone that you clip to your, to your um, lapel. I don't actually have a lapel. It's clipped to my shirt. And this is great because it has really quality audio. And also it's great, one thing that's great about it and one thing that's bad about it is it it's separate from the device. So I don't need this device to record audio. My camera could be way off in the distance and I could be recording audio, or perhaps my camera doesn't even have an audio in or doesn't have a good audio sort uh, in that I'm, you know, um, can rely on. So something like this is really great. And honestly, this thing is like 70 bucks used. I can't remember, but I've had it forever and it's great. But the problem with this, one, you have to bring the audio in separately and uh, line it up in post with the video because you're recording your audio and video separately. Now that's not really a problem in post, but it's just, a, it's just another thing you have to do. No one likes that. Additionally, if you want to stream live, of course this is never going to work because you have to have the audio and video syncing up when you're streaming. So if you want to stream live, this is not going to work for you. Another option, which you can do, is you could get a LAN like this, uh, you know, that's lit. if you can imagine this leads to a I'll just take it off my shirt for a second. This little thing, right? See that? That goes on my shirt. And that leads into here. Now you could, put it back on my shirt. You could take this off and plug it right into a phone. In this case, you can't do it because of that, that little thing, but you, they have adapters, so you could plug that right into your phone. And people do that, and it's a great thing. And these, you can get a really good one of these for like 20 bucks, this little the lav mic that'll plug right into your phone with an adapter. You need a little adapter. And uh, that'll give you great audio. And I, I probably will do that sometimes, but that's limiting in that one. You've got this dangling cord, which I don't really want to do, especially if I'm on a vacation or something, or you know, I just don't want that. And two, it um, it doesn't allow you to be, uh, you know, it's only you. Like you can't get the environment around you, and that's sometimes the way you want to do when you're vlogging. So that leads me to a shotgun mic, and what a shotgun mic is something that's directional, right? And you have a variety of shotgun mics you know in the market um, some are bigger and some are smaller and some have to, you know some require that you have some sort of device or bracket around here to mount it to and some require a dongle to get in here because it doesn't have the right remember if this has that silly mac what do they call it lightning thing yeah no one likes that anyway so oh and another thing is i really want something that's not particularly conspicuous you know as i'm walking around i've already got this and this you know I don't want some big dangly thing hanging off of here or whatever. I want something that's fairly small and inconspicuous. Um, I'm not a particularly shy person, but I just don't look to, like to look like a, an utter dork when I'm walking around. So that's where this comes in. This is the Video Mic Me L. I don't know if that's supposed to be M E L or Me L, but it's Video Mic Me L by Rode. Now, Rode, of course, are very good with microphones. And so this one's about $80 with tax. I got it at a local retailer here in Salt Lake. 
uh, and some other more sure has some more expensive mics road has some more expensive mics but this is the one that really i thought fit the bill for me and the price was about right and i didn't want to spend more money so let's go ahead and open this up now i should say this isn't a, an opening what do they call it a box opening because it does that i already opened this but i just thought it'd be cool to have the box here to show you and this is what's in the box. Now, first, you're, you're going to know this, this enormous furry thing. And this, for anybody in, in uh, audio or video, knows that this is a dead cat. And the purpose of a dead cat is to put on your device and it'll... <laughs> it helps with wind, uh, cutting down on the wind. Now, I have to say, I have some experience with mics and with dead cats, and they're not typically that large um relational to the device that they're they're stopping wind on i mean the the the, the thing for my lab is this big so here's you know here's a typical lab dead cat and now the, <laughs> it's huge and i did just mention that i want to sort of be inconspicuous now if you're thinking of this on here on your phone i don't know but let's talk more about this later i'm certain this will be something i use because you can't be in a windy and outside environment with just a mic like this because it's very sensitive and it'll pick up a lot of stuff and this will be helpful but geez louise that's huge all right so now let's talk about the mic now you'll notice right away it's very small yeah that's about the size of my finger which it has as you can see a little uh thingy bobber here which will go nicely into the lightning jack on my phone now i had a couple concerns right away when i saw this one, this looks kind of flimsy to me, right? But I have to say it's, it feels pretty sturdy. And the construction generally on this thing is pretty sturdy. It's, it's, it's aluminum, it's metal. It's light, but it feels professional and sturdy, and I really enjoy that, okay? Uh, and I also was concerned that, but I was concerned that once you stuck it in, it might be, you know, wanting to come out. And I've noticed that it doesn't want to come out. It doesn't do that. So you can shake this thing around all day, and I think it's going to stay in there. Another concern I had was, oh, <laughs> when I stuck it in there. I don't see it and in your contacts. Yeah. Should I look for places <laughs> with that name? Shut up, shut up. When I stuck the mic in there and picked it up. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, another concern I had was I typically keep, a, as we all do, keep, keep a case on my phone. Now, this, and I thought that was going to be a problem for you know putting this in but this particular case is fairly flush with the actual hole so this fits fine it clicks right in and it stays there i'm certain with some cases that would not work and you would have to you know take this out of the case in order to use it but in the case of my case and my phone it works fine so another thing to bear in mind is it is uh, powered by the phone um, now that's good because i don't want a separate power source and by the way, the battery life on these phones is super awesome. The, the uh, Apple 10R are awesome battery power. So the fact that that's powering this, it's another thing I don't have to worry about. I'm assuming it'll um, decrease the battery life of your phone a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be very much. But I don't honestly know because I haven't tested it. Another thing to consider is you have a line out, which means you can check your audio. You know, you don't want to walk around with a headset all day, but you can check your auto initially and make sure it's doing okay, especially if it's like a super windy day or something. You can hear that while you're recording it, and you'll know if it's, it's, if it's acceptable. So you may have wondered why I'm doing this in my garage. Now, that's because uh, a couple of reasons. One, it was the only place I could find that was quiet right now with my grandson visiting. And also, it is a place that would let me sort of demonstrate what a harsh environment can do to your audio. Uh, right now I think the audio is pretty good but this garage has a lot of hard surfaces and hard surfaces generally cause uh, 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 what I'm trying to say you know sound uh, bounces off right it bounces in all directions and that's not really good for audio you want audio to sort of be absorbed by the environment around you so it's not bouncing around it doesn't sound echoey and reverbery and so I thought the garage would be an interesting place to test this. So we'll do a test in the garage, as well as I thought we might go outside to do a test out there. It's a blustery, windy, windy day, and I thought I'd see how we do, especially with the uh, massive dead cat. And then I thought we'd try some other places. Now, before we do that, I should mention there's a few things to know about using an external mic on an iPhone. 
Um, in this case, it doesn't require any special software. It, you can just plug and play. It'll, you plug it in, you start recording, and it'll work. But there are a couple apps that you can get that can help, and I'll show those to you really quick. One that comes with uh, Rode mic is called the Reporter. Now this thing, you can see right now, it's picking up my audio. This is really just for recording audio. It's not really a video thing. Um, it allows you though to do um, your levels, which is so very important. So you can see right now you got a meter going here, and I'm assuming that the iPhone, uh, I, I should mention when you just use the iPhone camera, there's no, there's no meter and you, it doesn't allow you an opportunity to adjust audio input. And that's actually pretty important for anyone that cares about audio. And right now you notice there's nothing I can do to adjust the input, uh, even with this you know, professional app. But if you'll notice, as soon as I plug in the Rode mic, there's a level. So then you can start adjusting the level. And of course, when you're adjusting levels, you kind of want it to be right about, you know, 10 minus 10, but it doesn't have a decibel reading on here, but about when it's hitting yellow. So in this case, that's about right there. Well, that's plug turned all the way up. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So um, that's if you want to just record audio and there's people that just want to do that. And uh, that that's helpful. All right. Another uh, app that you, you might consider when you're doing vlogging. And again, we're not talking here to talk about apps, but I, I bring it up for, because of the audio aspect of this. This is Filmic Pro. Now, Filmic Pro is, uh, it's not, okay. Filmic Pro is good for a lot of reasons, and, any, and, and that's a whole video on itself. But the, um, the thing that's important about it here is it has audio meters, right? And you can adjust this. It's unfortunate that it's really small and I have big fat fingers, but you can adjust the audio by this little thing here. And you see the meter going down and up there. So that allows you to adjust audio. Um, so when you plug in your doodaddy, in this case, it doesn't matter. You can have that plugged in or not, but you'll see the audio spiked up because this is a much more sensitive microphone than your, the audio provided by your iPhone or other smart device. So this allows you to adjust that. And that, I'm just bringing these apps up because you really want to be able to adjust audio whatever, with whatever you're doing, right? Okay, so let's go ahead now and test this in a garage environment. Okay, so this is now the, the onboard front microphone on my iPhone uh, XR. And this is what it sounds like in my, uh, how shall we say, echoey garage. So this is what it's at if I want to sing, hello, hello, this is my microphone, or whatever you're going to do. Uh, that's what it sounds like. So now let's go ahead and stick in the, <laughs> stick it in. Let's go ahead and stick in this uh, Rode mic. Let's see how that changes it. Okay, so, oh, okay, right, okay, right away you can see there's, if you can see the meters here, it's picking up a lot more a lot more audio um, right out of the gate without me even adjusting the levels. So I might have to adjust the levels a little bit. All right, so that is what I sound like with the Rhodes microphone. Hello, hello, Rhodes microphone on my phone in my garage. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. All right, so there. Uh, okay, so this is the, the, the uh, audio from my phone and it's kind of nasty out there it's a little blustery i'm not gonna lie so let's test that let's step out into the oh son of a okay it's a little blustery and uh this is what it sounds like just coming out of my phone just straight out of my phone okay so let's now try the let's put this on here and see how it does okay That's helping. Yeah, that should be helping a lot. So now this is the audio with the super large dead cat on the mic, and I have to believe it's helping out a lot. And this is really windy, and I'm faced right into the wind. So uh, yeah, this should be interesting to see the test. Let's try that. Okay, so now I'm in what is possibly the hardest 
test of a microphone, and that is one's personal bathroom. That's because we all know that bathrooms are messed up. They don't sound right because of the, oh, who's that? Because of all the hard surfaces, it's all echoey and reverberating. So <clears throat> this is what it sounds like. Oh, let's turn on the, um, my, well, my fan in here is pretty quiet because it's a new fan. Maybe you can hear that. So anyway, this is what it sounds like with a regular microphone on an iPhone. Okay, so let's go ahead now and try it with the new Rode Mi L microphone to see if it helps. All right, so here it is with the Rode Mi L microphone attached. Now I'm not sure if this is even a fair test of a microphone because I'm not sure if a good microphone is really intended to cut out the reverb on an echoey surface. That's sort of your job of where you're recording. You remove the echoey surface. But it's a better microphone and maybe because it's more directional coming right at me, it doesn't pick up all the reflections and sounds coming off of all the hard surfaces. So you tell me, does this sound better? Okay, so this is uh, a real world road test. We're currently in my car. Uh, I should point out that I have the phone securely attached to this, uh, the windshield. I'm not using my hands. I'm keeping my eye on the road. Safety first. And, uh, and I've got a little, uh, little bit of radio going, a little bit of wind noise. Uh, my car, the Mini Cooper, is notorious for being a fairly uh, windy, noisy car. Is this, is this something you'd want to use in your vlog with this audio? All right, so now let's try it with the Rode Miel mic. Okay, so I had to turn my camera a little tilty because the holder isn't really intended for this microphone or any of this. And uh, this is what it sounds like with the Rode Miel microphone plugged into my iPhone XR. I'll let, I'll let it go for a bit so you can hear the, the sultry tones of the DJ and the wind in the background. All right, let's move on. So in conclusion, this little microphone is a champ. I just took it with me on a trip I took to Japan and uh, it was great. Uh, you have the mic and you know, it's just a little this big, put it in your pocket, put your phone in the other pocket and really you have everything you need to vlog. Uh, I didn't even take the Joby with me on most occasions because I didn't want a big thing. And if you just, you know, stick it out at arm level, hello, it, it works fine. Uh, so that's about it, really. I highly recommend this mic. And hey, if you have any comments or questions or gripes or feedback, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe for future videos. And that is it. Peace out. Have a great day. That's horrible. Uh, go get them. No. Um... Okay, so that's it. Uh, feed your passion, go crazy, have fun. I... So if you have an idea for a sign out, let me know. So yeah, that's it. Bye.